a dream I know Deep up my feelings feel they do state chairman of the People Democratic Party, Dr. Tony Ezebami, claimed that the All Progressive Congress has planned to ring the election by recruiting and employing fake INEC technical personnel. <laughs> to top up with it by modern voter accreditation system, I put a small big deal. after this, we have. INEC has announced their plan to deploy more than 5,000 beavers for a do governorship pool. All right, my wonderful people, before we comments, I welcome you back to my wonderful channel. As we are giving a back to back update on information as today. Hot tips today is your first time of watching. Can you subscribe, like, comment, share, but don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our video to all amazing subscribers. Thank you so much for joining. So, my people, may we dive into the mentor. The Do State Chairman of the People Democratic Party, Dr. Tony Ezebari, has claimed that the All Progressive Congress APC has planned to ring the election by recruiting and employing fake INEC technical personnel to tamper with the bimodal voter accreditation system. <laughs> I mean, he does set. Tony Ezebari, while addressing journalists in Benin City on Friday, insisted that APC could not be trusted with the governors of the state. Following their failure to upload the required number of agents at the 3037 polling units in the state, Tony Zabami said that he wished to draw the attention of INEC now and a do light to the sinister plan of the APC, which has been uncovered by their intelligence unit. The APC has perfected a plan to use fake INEC staff posing as technical staff to tamper with the Beavers mission on the day of election to beef up the number of accredited voters on the beavers machine hey <laughs> my full of small so now my people tony Ezebami is demanding that i next should publish the names and pictures of all the appointed technical staffs hey <laughs> for the election and post them in good time they should post them on time because apc knowing that they cannot win the election has resulted to ringing plans which we terribly fail. According to today's Zimbabwe, he said by the grace of God Almighty that their plans are going to fail. Commenting on INEX requirements from all participating parties to upload the names and photographs, Oday Zimbabwe disclosed that none of those 17 parties were able to meet the requirements 100%. He, however, disclosed that the APC could only upload 1,482 polling units in one local government area instead of agents in the 337 polling units. So, he said nobody should trust APC since they could not perform such simple tasks that he can record that IDEC had issued a timetable and schedule of activities in Edo State for the government's election that there are 13 items on that document. So, right now, he's trying to draw the attention of audience to number nine item which says that all political parties should submit the names of political agents and they should upload their pictures on INEC portal that INEC has created a portal for political parties to upload their agents and says code we are giving to the political parties INEC portal for uploading polling agents was opened since July 17 and it was automatically shut down on the 30th of July at midnight. So on the 29th of August 2024, INEC invited the national chairman and national secretaries for an emergency meeting in Abuja. To the amazement of PDP, <laughs> they now found out that APC did not meet with the requirements in 3037 polling units and in 70 local government area, which means APC has polling agents in only 1,482 polling units and one local government agent. <laughs> so there's a movie say that if they check camp, they will see say PDP has uploaded their polling agent in 4,378 polling units. So there's a movie say that a party that cannot upload their polling unit agent in two-thirds of the polling unit cannot be trusted with power in Edo State. So they are demanding that no political party should be allowed to correct that. Reacting to the allegation, the APC Campaign Council Media Director, Prince Kasima Febwai, said that the PDP is coming up with this allegation to distract attention. <laughs> that the PDP has just told the public what they are planning to do. But the bad news is that they are monitoring them bomba to bomba. That this is no escape route for Governor Godwin Obasiki and his cousin as we hold alone. That they have told the world before now that Governor Godwin Obasiki brought hackers and cloners to Edo State with the aim of ensuring that beavers are tampered with. Why also cloning their candid voice? 
Now, they saw that it's not working. <laughs> I make PDP don't use another tattoos. That they now want to devise another method. That by Monday and Tuesday, they have already planned to stage protests across the state, asking that their criminal element should not be arrested. That those who were fingered in the killing of the inspector Anuakov are running away from investigation. They are afraid of facing the consequences of their action, hiding in a do state government house for fear of arrest. They say, but that does not withstand them for getting more information from pdp that they get details of pdp's meeting every day this is not quite long they exposed the voice notes of their so-called edo security network directive to their armed personnel telling them to hide their guns that the game is up for them <laughs> right now they are telling pdp to go and face their campaigns and leave APC alone. <laughs> My people don't be small, okay? the atmosphere is getting intensified day by day barely one month to the governorship election it seems not to be you know calm all i could say is that the people of edo state should vote wisely they should vote for competence so guys i'd like to know your thoughts your contributions opinions in our comment section i would love to hear from you moving on to the next one the independent national electoral commission announced plan to deploy more than 5,000 by modal voter accreditation system machine for edo state governorship election scheduled for september 21st 24. so according to the senior INEC officials who spoke on conditions of anonymity said that the commission is gearing up to ensure a smooth and efficient electoral process across the Edo states, across the 4,519 polling units and 211 coalition centers. That these centers include 192 ward centers, 18 local government centers, and the state coalition center in Benin City. So, more than 5,000 devices will be deployed for the Edo state governorship election on April 22nd. I next scheduled a mock voters accreditation for September 10th, 2024 in Edo State. The exercise aimed to test the BVAS deployment and the electronic result upload process to the INEC results viewing portal. I next should do that because people no one here say now so they tamper with the BVAS. Now so the BVAS flash. <laughs> because this election all eyes are on INEC officials. They should not ring this election this time around. They should allow the election to be free, fair, and credible. They should allow the people to vote their mind. Also, the commission also revealed that the installation and configuration of the BVAS machine to be deployed on election day were completed. So, they are good to go. I people would like to know your thoughts towards this issue. Let's make the conversation lively in our comment section. Once again, thank you so much for staying to us. We really do appreciate it. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. Like, come your witness. Bye for now.